what is this? You know, I have an old surface lying around, but it's a little old and out of date. So I thought, just why not install Linux on it? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go, we're on the tablet. So let's turn it on and also remove the liars. We don't need it anymore. Now, hopefully it will automatically boot from USB as I have that set up in the BIOS. Yup, there we go. So let's just go graphical install. So now this is loading. So let's cut to the installer. All right, here we go, we're in the installer. So select the language, English. Select your location, United Kingdom, because that's where I am. All right, detecting and mount installation media. All right, let's just let it do its thing. Oh no, no ethernet card was detected. Well, we don't have an ethernet card in this computer. So we're just gonna say no ethernet card. Please let us do Wi-Fi, please let us do, yes! All right, let's connect it to our Wi-Fi network. And yup, that's good. So let's move the camera out of the way as I need to type in the password. All right, now you can come back. So, attempting to exchange keys with the access point. Oh, whoa, connection succeeded, all right. Please enter the host name for this system. Um, let's just go Surface 3. Yep, home looks good. And we are going to not have the root password as anything. And we're going to have the full name as whale. Whale770 for the username AA. Alright, here we go. Let's just go manual partitioning. And no, I have not partitioned this. Right, so let's create a new partition. 48 megabytes. Um, since this is going to be my EFI partition. And we do not need much for an EFI partition. So let's just name it EFI. And done setting it up. Let's create a new partition. 20 gigs. Um, computing the new state of the... Okay. Um, Debian. Everything looks good. Done. Now for this remaining 41 gigs. Let's just go max here. And just set the name it as home, not ho, ho. And yeah, um, mount point home, that looks good. Done setting up the partition. Finish partitioning and write changes to disks. You have not selected any partitions for use as swap. I'm fine. Write these changes to disks. Yes. All right, so let's let the computer do its thing and install. So while we wait, let's start a time lapse. The installation's complete. Let's click that reboot button and the touchscreen isn't working. That's great. But I clicked the reboot button. It's currently unmounting file systems. So yeah, let's just wait for it to load. The touch screen definitely works, it's moving the cursor around, but anyway, let's log in. Alright, we're in the desktop and everything is ginormous. It's using Wayland, which, which means proper touch screen support. Oh, flip. Anyway, let's fix this arm. Um, display scaling let's see what has it done all oh, right just made it extremely big no biggie we can fix that and apply oh my god it's tiny and it's not responding yeah keep it just set it to 125 just for keep 
Oh, yeah, that's much better. So, yeah, the entire shell just crashed there, which is no big deal as it just restarted. So, yeah, let's do some customization now. Editor, speed this up. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Alright, so after a little bit of off-camera customization work, we're here. I haven't really had time to go into big customization. But in the little time I have, this is what I got. I will definitely be doing more after this video is done. However, this is all I could do right now. So once again, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.